Hi family, welcome into our channel. This is Nikki. I'm going to dive right into this video, family of God. Listen, you, you don't have to be perfect. I want you to be careful trying to conform to what people want you to be just to have them around. You're going to do all of these things to conform to what people want you to be and they're still going to leave you. If you are involved in anything in your life where people are constantly requiring too much of you, where you are overcompensating you and you're sacrificing so much, where it is hurting you, where you are depleting your own life, where you're depleting yourself, family of God, go in prayer and ask God what his will is, family, because you don't have to do all of that, family, to win the heart of anybody, to win a relationship from anybody, a friendship from anybody. You don't have to be perfect. I know people want you to be that perfect person. We are perfect in Christ. That means we are complete. That's what perfect means in Christ. That means we are complete. There is nothing lacking in your life, nothing broken, not broken, nothing missing in your life. No. Who told you you had to be perfect? No, family of God. You be the person that God wants you to be. It does not take all of that, family, to have somebody around. It doesn't take all of that. You don't have to conform. You don't conform to anybody. You transform to the person that God is said that is telling you that you are to be. You transform. You don't conform. Conforming to what people want you to be, acting the way people want you to act, dressing like people want you to dress, just to be a part of their clique, just to be part of their club. Don't do that, family of God. This is not from God. God called his people to transform. He didn't call any of us to conform. Conform, family of God. No, you you are the kingdom setter. That's who you are. You are a leader. You are out in the forefront as a light. To show people how it's done. You're going to show people how it's done. And you're going to do it with integrity. You're going to do it with godly character. Don't you ever dummy down. And don't you ever lower who you are, you are just to get ahead. God tells us, what would it profit a man to gain everything he wants and lose his soul? What is it going to prosper people to gain everything they want? And in the end, you're going to lose your soul. You're going to die and you're going to go to hell. It's not worth it, family of God. If a person is applying so much pressure to you like that, that person didn't come from God, family. And don't be afraid to walk away. You're walking away, family of God, from death. You are walking away from problems. That's what you're walking away from. If you stay there, you're going to die there, family of God. Walk away so you can walk into the fullness that God has for you. You are enough. You are enough. You know what is tearing you down. You know this is weighing you down, family of God. And you have to have the courage to walk away. It's not going to get better. You know why it's not going to get better? Because God has spoken in your spirit what you need to do. But for some reason, the enemy will make you feel so guilty. The enemy will make you condemn if you let him by walking away. That's a stronghold that he wants to have on you because he knows if you walk away, he knows he is done. He knows you are evicting him. He knows you're leaving him behind. He knows if you have the courage to step out on faith, what the great things you can do. Step out on faith. Step out on faith. Take a step. Take a leap. Take a bound, family of God. You're not alone. You're not. God is there with you. He's leading you. He's guiding you. He's protecting you. And God is going to make sure you are protected. He is going to make sure you're on the right path, family. God is there. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be without fault, without error. Don't be who people want you to be. Don't be a people pleaser in your life. You be a God pleaser. That's what you do. You please God. You please the heart of the Lord, family, not people. Because you're going to do all of these things to please people. And they're going to displease you. You're going to do everything you can. You're going to bend over backwards. You're going to break your back. You're going to overly give. You're going to overly compensate for people. And they're going to show you 1% or less or none of gratitude. And it's going to leave you crushed. And this is what the enemy wants. He wants to crush you. He wants to tear you down to nothing. So you will never fulfill your dream. So you will never fulfill your destiny. So you will never fulfill your calling. So you will never discover the anointing of God upon your life. Be careful. You're good enough. 
You're more than enough. You don't have to do all of the things that you're doing just to show somebody that you're there. They know you're there. They know what you bring to the table. They don't appreciate it. People ask all the time, Prophetess Nikki, why do people treat me this way? And I do my very best. I bless them. I love them. I honor them. I value them. But they don't do it for me. They don't give me that back. They don't care about you. They don't love you. They don't respect who you are. They can care less about what you do. People treat you exactly how they feel about you. People treat you how they feel about you. We have to wake up. We have to wake up. You may want a person to love you the way you love them. But they may not love you the way you love them. So you have to ask yourself some hard questions. Am I willing to stay in this mess the rest of my life and be miserable? You can't be good enough for the wrong person. Did you hear me, family? You can't be good enough for the wrong person. You will never be good enough for the wrong person. You can't do enough for the wrong people in your life. This is how you know God didn't send them. Because the more you do for them, family, they don't appreciate it. And they still treat you with lack of respect. Because that's how they feel about you. When you do good by people and they keep stabbing you in your back, and you keep sitting there letting people to stab stab you in your back, hoping, wishing, and praying things were changed, you have to be the change. And that change is going within. Asking the Holy Spirit to heal your brokenness. Ask God to show you why you accept treatment that you know you shouldn't accept. You know you shouldn't accept that. You know that is wrong. You know it makes you feel bad. You know they're breaking you down. You know they're breaking your spirit. Some of you may be in situations where people take the desire away from you to even serve the Lord, to go in the house of God, to worship God, to praise God. This is destiny blockers. These people are blocking your, your destiny. These people are blocking you. God didn't call these people in your life, family. When God put a person in your life, they're going to build you up. You're going to compliment one another. Let that stuff go. You got a choice to make. Is it the, is it the them or you? You have to choose you. You have to choose your purpose that God gave you. You have to wake up. We have to wake up. This is why we have to deal with the brokenness on the inside of us. Stay hooked up to our channel because we are a faith-based channel. We love the Lord on our channel. We're going to talk about all issues of life, all of them, so that you can know why you do what you do so you don't do it again and how not to even get yourself in these situations. You attract broken people. We attract exactly who you are. You want a, a healthy person? You got to be healed first. You can't be a broken and fragmented person, busted and disgusted person on the inside of your spirit and attract that kind of person. No, God is not going to give you that. He's not going to give me that because the work has to be done within us. We have to do the work first. Then when we heal, God sees that. And then we position ourselves for God to bring that right back to us. Remember that you're good enough by yourself for now. Heal and let God bring in what he wants to bring in whenever he wants to bring it. But in the meantime, you stay on your journey to heal. We love you. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share our videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can hear the videos when we, when we upload them. You don't want to miss them. Listen to the videos from the beginning to the end, family. Don't let the devil rob you of information that you need to know. And sometimes you got to listen over and over again repetitively because sometimes we learn through repetition and we learn by hearing over and over and over again because God told us faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Don't beat yourself up. Don't do that either because the enemy comes to condemn. No, we've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. You have been redeemed. The devil wants you to be guilty. The devil wants you to feel bad. He wants you to feel shame. You are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. No weapon formed against you. Shall prosper, family of God. We love you over here. Don't get scammed. Anything you need to know about me is in the description box of the videos. Thank you for all of your support that you do give us. God bless you.